people words. Stuff like this never been heard. Deep meaning. Yeah, man, we seeking short-term gratification a little too much. Just to, you know, fill you in on it. Read this. Yeah, dude jerking off. Dude grabbing his huncho and squeezing it till he until he cinco all over his socks. Think about that. He's stroking off his 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 huncho until he bus. Think about it. For 10 hours a day. I'm not judging him at all. I'm not judging him at all. I'm not judging him at all. Like first, for, first and foremost, I ain't judging him. I ain't judging him. Because I used to look at some crazy stuff when I watched it. I'm not judging him. But I'm just pointing out the fact that he yanking his private until he bust everywhere. 10 hours a day. And, and it make you think like, we seeking short-term gratification too much. And, and that is, I'm thinking about it like, bro, I'm really looking at the way of the world and a lot of people single and, and, it's, and, and it's like, it feel harder to get in relationships for people. Like people feel like they, it's harder for them to get in relationships. And like people keep like, bro, I, I seen a Reddit post. If I can find it, I'm a post. I probably won't even look for it because I'm not, I'm not diving back into that subreddit, whatever I was reading, it was pissing me off. One girl said, you shouldn't even be able to walk up and talk to women. If you want to meet women, use Tinder. Like, we get to a point where the norm is, the norm is social media. Like, we, we, when we want to meet women, we have to, use, we have to use social media. That's what they said. And if you look at the dude who jerking off 10 hours a day, his hobbies are, uh, his hobbies are, like Miles told me this, he pointed this out, cause he the one who sent this to me. His hobbies are all just short-term gratification, watching sports, eating, and, and, and yanking sack. And, and it's making me think like, we not going outside no more. Like why, okay, let me ground myself and try to think straight. I just see a lot of people leaning on social media and even even if you say Pete woman toxic, and even if you say women don't care about this or that, a, a lot of y'all, not y'all, but a lot of people get that ideology from uh, social media. Like think about everything you believe. How much of it did you get from social media, and how versus real life? Because like I see all these toxic women on Instagram. I see all these toxic women on these little podcasts talking about men gotta you yeah, men gotta ice me out. Men gotta drive me here and do this. I see that, but like when I meet women in real life, actual women, and I'm not talking about I'm going to the I'm going to the uh, you know trenches of Iraq and you know pulling out whoever I can find. But I'm talking about when I go to a spot like a nice neighborhood and talk to a woman who 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 I can tell have her shit going on, have shit going on for herself. I at least get some bit of respect from her. You know what I mean? And you can't say it's just me. Cause I, like, I see it like, like my, my cousin, he said, you can tell a lot about a woman by what she wear, who she hang with and what type of music she be listening to. And that's just facts, especially what she wear. You know what I mean? And a lot of them women, like a lot of a lot like I don't know. I just think that like relationships, women and men are being put in a negative light because of social media. And while it's easy to say this person ain't nothing and that person ain't nothing, that's true, but like if you just step outside, you'll see something different like how many of us like when your only hobby is that like jerking off I'm not judging them again but like or even just some of us like how much our own hobbies on Instagram our own hobby our hobbies is Instagram playing the game 
it make you think like, what are you even doing? How many hours a day do you spend on your phone? Like the world really isn't that bad when you step outside and when you stop letting social media corrupt your viewpoint because social media is a echo chamber with certain opinions gonna get pushed through. And once you cut the phone off and just step outside, people aren't that bad. They not that bad. Like it is, it is some bad apples, bro. It really is, it is some, it is some. But like, when you step outside, you really can just have a good time, bro. I'm not saying you're not gonna meet somebody negative sometimes, God forbid, but like, and yeah, wait till that car go back, yeah. But um, I'm not saying you're not gonna beat nobody negative. And on top of that, I'm not saying like, and I'll even argue, a lot of the negative people you meet, I bet you the majority of them be deep on social media because social media really just be corrupting people. It really do. It's just short term gratification. So like, shit, if you met a girl who wasn't deep on social media, you'd probably be good. But neither here nor there, you, you have to go outside to meet that girl. And like so many people just afraid so many people just afraid and resort to short-term gratification because they too afraid to step out and just say, you know what, I'm gonna I'm whip out my, my honcho, let it hit against my knees and let my balls blow in the wind. You know, let sea salt get on your balls. Nobody, they don't be letting sea salt get on their balls. They too scared to whip out their balls and let the wind blow on it. You know what I mean? And it's like, yo, like, bro, if you just step outside, bro, life really not that bad, bro. Life really not that bad, like, you don't need to watch all these advice videos. You don't need to watch, like, bro, if you just get in a car and go to a bar on Friday and dance, not even saying drink, because I be going to a bar on Friday, but I don't be drinking. I don't be getting no drunk. I tasted one. I tasted a fucking, I forgot what it was called. It was all right. I'm not a fan of, of drinking, though. But neither here nor there. If you just go to a... Uh, bar and just dance bro just dance you can have a good time bro you can have a good time bro if you just get out your head for a second if you just go fishing bro if you just go fishing if you go bike riding for a second if you go to a fucking uh a coffee shop and just talk to a girl and compliment her shirt and ask her where she got it and have a little conversation with her over a cup of coffee my nigga life wouldn't even feel that bad bro but you so deep in the social media and short-term gratification and yanking your sack all, all, all day that you can't even really see the beauty and the abundance that you actually have bro like if you just stop being scared for a second and just go out and live for a second bro like look at all the short-term gratification we chase porn we got porn we got sex whenever we want we got doordash bro you can order food to you you don't even got to get up no more like, look at, look at what society, it's probably rotten society, it's, it's rotten society's brain, bro. It's reprogramming it all, bro. Like, sometimes I really just be wanting to sit in the woods and just breathe, you know what I mean? Just breathe. I don't know. My wallet about to fall out with me. Let me do that. Let me wrap my genitals around it. Yep. So it don't fall out. But, uh, yeah. I don't know, man. Life's not that bad, bro. Life really not that bad. Just go out and live, my nigga. I don't know how much more I gotta say. Just go out and live, bro. Like all this, all this short-term gratification really rotting people's brains. Don't nobody want to work out for the long run. Don't nobody want to work on themselves. They always sitting in their insecurities. Oh, I look this way. I look bad. I can never do this. I can never do that. Don't nobody want to sit there and just work on themselves, bro. My teeth used to be crooked like this. I used to be skinny as shit. My hair wasn't this long, so it looked a little stupid. And that's not to say I'm not chiseled out my mind. <laughs> but I still worked on myself. And, and like, regardless of how I look, I was in, I was unconfident as fuck. Like, I used to just be so scared of women, bro, that I was too afraid. Like, bro, I was so scared of women that when I saw one, I would shake. Like, I remember talking to this one girl. I was literally shaking. She saw it and laughed at me because I was shaking. That's how scared I was to talk to her. Another girl. I was so scared to talk to her. I couldn't even walk in the same room as her. So, you know what I mean? Like, I seen, like, you know, it's a couple of niggas that I say, oh, yeah, you only saying go live your life because you are, you are a nice looking guy. <laughs> but when I wasn't confident, as a man thinking from his heart, so is he. Verse from the Bible. When I wasn't confident, I wasn't getting shit done. I don't give a fuck how I look. 
That's a point blank period. I wasn't getting nothing, bro. And bro, like, I could have made an excuse like, oh, I'm too scared, I'm this, I'm that. And that's what I used to do. And again, back to short-term gratification. Instead of me just talking to the girl that I liked in high school, I went home and beat off thinking about her. Like, think of how lame that sounds. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest with you, though. Like, instead of me talking to the girl I liked in high school when I was younger, I went home and I beat off with her in mind. Like, think about how, how lame that sounds. But I did it, bro. I did it. And I'm going to be honest with you because this, you know, these them rants. And I like to get my feelings and emotions out. But, like, that's how much we care about short-term gratification rather than me just, and just saying something. You know what I mean? And, 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 and then taking that sting. If I get rejected back, but I'm alive. I feel alive. You feel me? I feel alive. Like, niggas don't want to feel alive no more, yo. Like, don't nobody want to go out and go eat with their friends and go go to a party and put their phone down. Everybody wants short-term gratification, bro. How you at a party, but you on your phone? That's you at a party. That's the point of the party. You at a party while on your phone looking at Instagram, people taking pictures. Why do you care about what other people doing that much? Why are you so, why, you, why, are, why are our dopamine receptors so fried? What did they do to us? Like, I'm really, be, I really just be thinking about that. What did they do to us? Like, when the last time you just took a walk, bro? When the last time you just... Like, got out your head, got out, got your hands off yourself and, and, and just went out and talked to somebody. Maybe life isn't as bad as you think it is, but you on this Instagram, Twitter, whatever, echo chamber, you beating off. So you got this unrealistic idea of what a relationship supposed to be. You got this fairy tale land picture. You setting a standard so high that no girl can meet it. And when you meet a girl, you, 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 you disappointed at what you see because... Nigga, she, she can't even meet your perfect She can't meet the idea that you have in your head Because you created this idea From porn, Instagram, Instagram models Fake relationships that they post uh, YouTube podcasts where you think every woman toxic So now when you meet a woman You got all this shit in your mind And there's no authenticity I don't know, bro I challenge you just to go out and live, bro. Just go out and live. Just try it. Just live, bro. Fuck the short-term gratification. Any real victory has to be won with pain. I, I got rejected so many times by women. I probably got rejected more times than all of y'all. Because a lot of y'all don't even... Not y'all. Like, I, I don't know what y'all do. But a lot of people that... Say that my success is a result of anything but hard work and a blessing from god typically didn't even try to talk to a woman oh you only you only pulled her because you only pulled her because you, you yeah because you know and they don't know that i got rejected by like a hundred women before i scott said yes to one of them you know what i mean like i might be chiseled on my mind <laughs> but until I worked on my personality and really gained confidence, I never reached the peak of my existence. And you know what I mean? I had to have faith in God and face that fear first. I was doubting God, so I was afraid. You know what I mean? But I had to face that fear. What am I saying? What is the point of this video? Let's wrap all this up. Moral of the story. You won't get anywhere through hard work. Your success is a result of your actions, your faith in God, and how much you've been blessed. Next, go outside and live. Stop chasing short-term gratification. If you keep chasing short-term gratification, you'll never learn how to get anything valuable. So you'll never have any long-term gratification. You know, to get a wife, you have to get rejected by actual women and talk to actual women and not, uh, you know, e-girls and beating your dick on, you know, on, on to... <laughs> You know, you got to stop all that. No judging, though. It's all love. Stop chasing short-term gratification. Get off your phone and maybe, you know, just go out and, and smell the flowers and shit. You know? Get married. Marry a girl and smell her ass. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, music channel. Like, and buy y'all, Leo. Um, and uh, also, any if there's any uh, 
debate, not debate, what is it called? If it's any conversation topics you want me to rant about or talk about, let me know. Also, leave a comment. Let me know what you uh, think about this. What's your, what's your mindset on this? How you feel about this? But yeah, I love y'all, always. Praise Christ.